All right, guys, welcome back to another episode of Off Axis Builds. Today, I'm going to be working on the YJ. I got a couple projects. I'm probably going to break it down in two videos. Uh, the first video is just changing out the rear diff plate, changing out the fluid, and filling it back up. Um, I got this uh, diff plate off of Amazon. It's about, I want to say about a quarter inch steel, uh, solid steel, not um, uh, cast steel. So um, I don't know if it's any stronger than cast steel, but it is quarter inch thick. It's a lot better than the stock. I went ahead and already painted it. Uh, so it's ready to go on. Basically all we're gonna do is remove those. I believe there's about 10, 12 bolts on it. Some, somewhere around there. Remove those, drain the fluid, put the gasket seal on, put it back on, let the seal uh, cure, and then tighten it all the way down. And then once that's done, then we'll fill it up. And then the second video, I'm gonna be putting in Spartan lockers in the front and a new, uh, uh, what is it? Poison spider diff cover. And that thing's about a half an inch thick cast. Um, pretty cool looking. Um, and I already have that one painted, but you'll see that on the next video. So stay tuned guys. Let's go ahead and start breaking down uh, the rear end and putting on this uh, rear diff cover and uh, get started. All right guys. All right, guys, so just a quick reminder, anytime you're doing something like this, you always want to try to remove your uh, drain valve and your fill valve first. Um, usually, actually, let me back that up. Usually, you start with the fill valve because if you can't get that loose, you're not going to be able to fill it back up. In this case, uh, this is just an inspection valve. Um, you're just going to get a screwdriver, pop that off, and then uh, it's just basically an inspection valve or fill valve. It's a little plastic thing, nothing too fancy. Um, and then we're gonna go ahead and take off all these bolts here. They're half inch 13, or excuse me, just half inch wrench. I'm not sure what the threads are. And then there's a little tag that's usually somewhere on the case. Uh, you always wanna save that, put that back on. That tells you what type of gears you have in your uh, transfer case, or no, excuse me, the transfer case, in your uh, rear end or front end. Um, so let's go ahead and unbolt these guys and see if we can't get it drained. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and just pop this guy off. Should be fairly easy. Um, usually you fill this up when it's uh, flat or level, excuse me. Um, obviously, I think when I filled it up, it was not level. Or maybe I did my uh, lift after I filled this up. I can't remember. So if I did my lift, it twisted it just a little bit to keep uh, alignment on the shafts. Um, anyways. Just go ahead and let that drain. I'm going to start by removing these guys. All right, guys, so now that I have all the bolts loose, I want to make sure that the drain pan's obviously underneath it. I left one in, uh, only so when I crack it open, it doesn't just fall on me. Um, and it allows the fluid to drain. Um, basically, all you're going to do is get up underneath this ledge and break it loose. There we go. So we'll just let it drain. We'll crack it a little bit loose. There we go. All right, so once it's drained, we'll take that top bolt off, pull this off, and then we're gonna clean the inside out with uh, brake clean, and uh, just clean it out really well, get all the junk out, and then we'll um, clean off the excess seal that I have on it, and we'll put a new seal on the next one. All right, guys, so now that the diff cover's off, we're just gonna go ahead and just clean up all this junk. Just so the next piece can make a good seal. 
Okay, and you don't want that inside the rear end. All right guys, so whenever you're doing something like this, I mentioned this before, you always wanna make sure your fill uh, spot you can open. I don't have any NICs, I gotta go pick up some, um, but a you, good recommendation to put some NICs on this, okay? Which we will do. Um, but first, I wanna get this thing onto the vehicle and then uh, snug, and then we'll come back half an hour from now and just wrench everything down. All right guys, so we're gonna go ahead and use this Ultra Black gasket maker uh, it's oil resistant so it'd be good for head gaskets uh, it would be good for uh, obviously diff covers so we're just gonna go ahead and use this um, there's some other brands out there Permtex is obviously a well-known brand but there are some other brands and some other um, types so be careful what you choose make sure it's oil resistant um, or gas resistant depending on what you're doing uh, but in this case we need oil resistant so we're just gonna go ahead and clean this edge up with uh, the brake clean, just make sure all oil is off of there. And then we're gonna go ahead and put a good bead around each hole, a nice line around each hole, line around each hole, all the way around, make a nice good bead, and then we'll stick it on the car. All right, so I got a nice bead. I went around every hole. I'm just gonna go ahead and stick it on the, the Jeep. Make sure you put the tag on one of the sides. And I believe, if I'm not mistaken, this should go towards the passenger side of the hole. Um, when I checked it a minute ago, it looked like that was the case, uh, but we'll have to double check once we get it up there. All right, guys, so now that I got that thing tightened down, the seal is dry we're gonna go ahead and fill it up with some 7590 uh, doesn't matter what type of brand you use just make sure it's 75 weight 90 gear oil I believe it's gonna take at least three maybe four uh, but we'll see we're just gonna go and start topping it off what you want to do is get it to about that bolt hole just enough to where it starts leaking out and that's good I uh, went and picks up some anti-seize for that uh, bolt right there to put back in the hole. And uh, so we're just gonna fill it up, cap it off. All right guys, so I got it complete. I got uh, anti-seize on that bolt. Got it filled up just to the point where your finger can touch the oil. So I think we're good. Let's get started on the next part. All right guys, thanks for joining me on another episode of Texas Builds. We got that rear diff uh, cover installed. I'll have a link down below. I believe it was made by Rusty Parts. I think so. Uh, it was the only one I could find for a uh, Dana 35. I know everyone's gonna say, don't fix up the Dana 35. But in any case, I wanted to put a little something on it until I get a chance to change it out to a different axle. Uh, but it was a nice, easy install. Thanks for joining me on this one. Remember guys, it's always built. Bye. We'll see you on the next one, guys.